today on Be Something Wonderful, how to allow your desire to manifest, what it really means. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I got an email from a subscriber this morning that said, Tom, I've heard you and other uh, teachers talk about the state of allowing, talk about the receiving state. And I'm just wondering, what am I supposed to feel during that time? I, I feel like I'm in the receiving state, but how do I know? I feel like I'm letting go, but what am I supposed to feel like? How, how do I know I'm letting go? Because my desire still hasn't manifested. Well, guys, we're gonna unpack this this morning and more. So here's what I wanna say. Really the receiving state or the allowing state is, is the believing state. Hear this, it's really a state of having faith that you've asked for it, you set your attention, it's done and it's coming. It's, it's really that state of receptivity of believing in your wish fulfilled. But more than that, I wanna unpack this a little bit more in scripture because really Jesus told us or showed us what the allowing state is, what the receiving state is. Let's take this from Matthew. It shall be done for you according to your faith. Hear this, look at the wording here. It shall be done for you. This means you do nothing. You do nothing but what? But continue to stand in your faith, continue to believe that it's done. Hear this, this is what Jesus, he said this after all his healings, right? Or it will be, it shall be done to you according to your belief, right? Or according to, to what you believe or how you believe. This is, so really think of it this way. This is what Jesus would say um, when he did a healing. Think of yourself as really you're healing the resistance, right? You're healing the doubt. When you think of that, that's what you're doing, right? You're healing the doubt with what? Through faith, by knowing it's done, by knowing that it will be done for you according to your faith, according to your belief. So believing is allowing, right? Remember, all desires, we've talked about this, all desires are born out of contrast or resistance, right? The resistance is, is you knowing what you don't want, right? That's how, this is what Abraham Hicks always says, that spiritual teacher. When you know what you don't want, you know what you want. But it's only that we get stuck here in, in the resistance and don't move to the desire and then to fulfillment, right? You have your resistance, you know what you don't want. Then you move to the desire, what you do want, right? And you can either be here allowing it and receiving it through faith, through believing, through a knowing, or you can have doubt and you move back to resistance, you're resisting. So you're either allowing or you're resisting. You either have faith or you have doubt or fear or anxiety, it's not gonna manifest. And then you have fulfillment. When you stay in that faith, it gets fulfilled. When you stay in doubt, you get stuck in resistance. Remember, it's what you put your attention to, right? So as soon as you know what you want, put your attention on that, right? There's no reality without you viewing it or giving it your attention or your focus. Once you put your attention on the wanted and stop giving your attention to the unwanted, then it must manifest according to your faith. This is what Jesus said, very clear here. So, so really, attention creates reality. Attention plus faith plus pure desire plus focusing on the wanted creates your desired reality. But attention plus resistance plus doubt or fear, charging it with resistance of the unwanted creates an unwanted reality. Both of these create realities, right? But it's either your attention charged with faith or it's your attention charged with resistance. One will create your desired reality, the other will create an unwanted reality, right? Hear this, right? So pay attention to your attention. Here, where is your attention? Is your attention on the unwanted or is it on the wanted? We've talked about this in many different ways, right? Beware of what you are being aware of, right? That's your gift. That's what the ancients said by be still and know that I am God, right? Be still and know that I am God. You are connected. You are that which you want. It's already yours, right? By the presence of light, darkness disappears, right? Hear this, dark darkness isn't a thing. Like, like Abraham Hicks says, there's no dark switch. This is Abraham Hicks, right? There's no dark switch, it's only a light switch. So you only have to turn the light on. How do you turn the light on? By believing, by believing that as you believe, as you stand in that faith, it will be done onto you. It will be done for you through that belief, right? That great creative subconscious, 
right? That great, great creative medium of God will go to work on it and it will be done. You've just got to put the word forth and stand in the faith and then everything else is taken care of you, taken care for you. <laughs> so wherever and whatever you point at with your attention, you create. So I want to get back to this because it reminds when I when I um, was I lived in South America for some time, right? And when I first moved there, I did not speak any Spanish, right? So I would go to maybe one of those typical restaurants, and I would just point. And a lot of times I was pointing to something that I didn't want. I just I just wanted to ask a question about it. But of course, what did they bring me? They brought me whatever I pointed at. <laughs> That's what we're getting at. Whatever you point at, whatever you give your attention to, that's what you get, right, guys? So you got to point at what you want, not what you don't want, right? We're used to trying, we're so used, we're so used to trying to solve, fix, and fight with the unwanted that we put all of attention on it, right? And we forget that that draws it to us, that keeps it alive, that gives it existence right? Your light gives it existence, right? To manifest your new reality of desire, you allow it to become real by identifying it and becoming it, by identifying with it, right? With it and becoming it. That's the fastest way to manifest your reality, identifying only with that and then becoming it. When you identify only with that and becoming it, the note, the unwanted then fades from your vision. The unwanted fades in the background. You no longer see it, right? Focus on the things that you would be focusing on if your desire were already manifested. This is the allowing state. Hear this. You believe it you have faith in it, and now you're focusing on the things that you would normally be focused on had that desire already been manifested. That's how you walk in the conviction that it's already yours. You're putting your attention on the things that you would put your attention on had it already manifested in 3D, right? Tell your new story. This is what all the, all the spiritual teachers talk about, right? Neville Goddard calls it inner speech. Right? Genevieve Davis calls it telling your new story. This is what, this is the key to allowing, right? Remember, resistance equals two things. It equals your focus on what you want, your desire, but that, but that, but the focus that it's not. Something, so it's something you want or desire that is not. It's not there yet. So you're focused on your desire, but you're focused that it's not there, that I don't have it. You're, fact, you're focused on the absence of it or the lack of it, or you don't want something that already is. So it's wanting something that is not or, wanting, or not wanting something that is. Those are, that's all that resistance is, right? So if you just put on your, desire, your, your focus on your desire as if you already have it, standing in that belief, in that, in, in that faith, that that greater subconscious of God, that creative medium, will now have it, will do it for you, then you're there. But, and then don't focus on what you don't want. That's the two parts of resistance, right? Just be, allow everything to be okay. Allow everything in anything, right? Set your intention, choose it, and move your attention to what you want, right? You set your intention, you choose, and then you move your attention to what you want. Then let go. Right? This is what, so in Matthew 9, 29, it says that it shall be done for you according to your faith. And also in Matthew 8, 13, it, sh it shall be done uh, for you as you have believed. Right? Belief, faith. Jesus says it in two different parts here, right? Delegate it to your higher self, right? And I, I like this. A lot of the spiritual teachers, Abraham Hicks and others, talk about choosing the stream and then going with it. Imagine that you're in a, a boat in a stream that goes, and the stream, is in, the stream has one way that it goes, right? But if you turn the boat around and you go upstream, now you're going against the stream. That's resistance. Or if you're going downstream and you're, and you're really forcing it to go in, into another, there's all these other choices you have, right? All these other little streams and you're forcing it to take another path or another stream. That's also resistance. The best way is to just let go, maybe guide it a little bit with the oars, but you can even let the oars go. You're always on the path to your desire, right? It's only the resistance that holds you back. That really is what we're talking about, right? That is how to allow your desire to manifest. That's what it really means. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, 
where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com or write me anytime at info at BeSomethingWonderful.com. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, with great love, this is Tom. See you soon.